But we got one more from the audience that I'd like to highlight. This one is, Shaykh, any advice for Muslim entrepreneurs who want to engage in da'wah? Where should they start? Or what's the simplest way for them to give da'wah? So yeah, maybe some, some advice for Muslim entrepreneurs who would like to take part in this, inshallah. I mean, the potential for Muslim entrepreneurs obviously is huge, mm. right? I mean, entrepreneurs generally, obviously, especially successful ones, are by virtue very inspirational figures, right? Mm. Um, and um, yeah, we can see the impact. Maybe you know, Muhammad Ali. Maybe you wouldn't call him an entrepreneur, but you know, even as a, a, a sporting figure, many people you know they have that inspirational value. But I think, look, for, I, my advice wouldn't be different to entrepreneurs to anyone else. You know, start by doing our Dawa training course in iera. Go to iera. Just type in iera training and do start by doing the Dawa training course. It's a beautiful, really simple, and really shown to be very effective way of giving Dawa. And start by doing that, and then hopefully maybe you can get involved with um, you know iera teams across the world wherever you may be. Um, and just participate in activities and develop your skill set in Dawah, just like anything else. It's like, like you know, by the way, I don't say this, I don't want to corrupt your intentions. <laughs> I don't want to corrupt your intentions. But I'll tell you something. If you can sell Islam, you can sell anything. Mm. So I'm not trying to say you should learn Dawah because it will make you a great salesman, but it will. Right, because the skill sets that you need to employ are pretty much the same. It's a lot to do with empathy, like a good salesman. Right, you know, I mean, what they're only going to sell something to someone they know who needs it. Right, a good salesman is not going to hoist something upon someone who has no need for it because that's just really corruption. Right, but obviously, everyone needs Islam. Right, everyone, whether they know it or not, they need Islam. Right, and so the skills that you are going to develop in giving dawah are skills that you can use in all of your life, right? Especially as an entrepreneur. So I think it would be very natural for a da'i to be an entrepreneur and for an entrepreneur to be a good da'i because a lot of the skills that you're using are the same. Maybe it's just a question of, you know, understanding what's the most effective process, you know, like, so that's what we teach in I era. Like, it's not like we can't, really teach you to be empathetic and to be a good listener which is so key and all those other good manners and good akhlaq the very important things right when you're giving dawah and remember islam was spread in malaysia and indonesia right by who but basically entrepreneurs by traders yeah okay so you know by you know i i'm not i don't I'm not a big advocate of the best dawah is manners. I could knock that whole argument down. I think it's a it's not a good argument and it's not true. It's actually just not true. But if you don't have good if you don't have good manners, you're not going to you know, you're not going to be any good at dawah. Like it's a prerequisite, but I don't think good manners on their own is dawah, right? But certainly, you know, the prophet said that the honest trader is on a high level like with the prophets right so like a huge high level because it's so difficult yeah. to you know be a trader and be honest and so that's something that people will notice you know it, having those good characteristics um of honesty and truthfulness and, and not pulling the wool over people's eyes and so on it makes it a lot tougher as an entrepreneur right but you know that's the sort of standards that we should have for ourselves inshallah.